of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees, Ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king, he will be. Creatures of the high country look after their own. When Thara found the young foal Urala separated from his mother and quite lost, he took him into his herd and treated him like a son or a younger brother, as did Boom Boom. And the others of the herd accepted him as one of them. Urala admired and loved Thara very much and was keen to learn from him the ways of the high country. So Thara taught the foal how to read the wind, how to listen to the advice of the bush, how to avoid danger, and how to leave no trace. Of course, it's not easy to pick everything up at once. Urala, look behind you. Oh. I'm sorry, Thara. I... Remember, always stay on the snow grass. It's springy and leaves no imprints. But on the other hand, you've learned to move as silently as the breeze. Well done. Oh, thanks, Thara. Now, let's see how much you remember about galloping down rocky slopes. Race you to the stream. Go! <laughs> Beat me, fair and square. Ha! Huh. Come on, Thaura. You gave me a head start. I knew they'd be here. Well, you did, eh? That's where they'll be, you said. And here they are. Oh, how did you know? A good question, but it doesn't matter. They're here. Thaura and the young foal drinking. Look, Thaura and Urala. Thaura and Urala drinking and ready to answer our questions. <laughs> Emus. I wonder what they want. How did you know? didn't even look. But they're upwind, and a scent can be even more important than seeing. Remember? Oh, of course. I forgot. Yoo-hoo! Thara and Urella! Well, Thara will know. He knows everything. He does. And he's teaching so me. So who better to ask? I don't really know everything, Emus, but I'll help if I can. Told you! Oh, you did! See, Thara, I've been thinking. Mew's been thinking and I've been listening. When we were young, I seem to remember running and that there were others of our kind. Lots of others. But we don't know how we came to be here, in the high country. Oh, what became of the others? Or whether we're supposed to run a lot. I'm not sure what you want me to help you with. I know a little about your kind. Anyway, you run now. Yes, we do. We do run, but not fast like the wind, like you. Oh, and we're supposed to be birds. We don't fly like... I can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> A flying Thara? Well, I never. What do you think, Mew? Well, ridiculous, absurd, fanciful, unthinkable. A flying horse? <laughs> of course not, Thara. What we want? I think this is going to call for a bit of extra wisdom. Urella, why don't you see if you can find Boon Boon and get on with your lessons? Emus and I are going to see if we can find Benny. Benny? Now there's a good idea. No, oh, very good idea. Benny and Thara. Now everything will be clear. I'll see you later, Thara. Bye, Emus.
Granddad! Granddad! Charlie! I thought it might be you. How? Heard it on the Bush Telegraph, of course. Ah, good to see you, boy. Well, what brings you to my country? To see you. And Dad wants... Yeah. Well, we'll be after something as usual. G'day. Don. Mm. Come on. Let's get the fire stoked for a cuppa after that journey. I'm after some brumbies. All gone south. Yeah? Be a few around, but eh? And I'm going to get them. See, you are fast. Try and go even faster. Come on. If Thara says we're fast, we must be. Well, shall we try and catch him? Let's! Well, you can run all right and fast as well. Maybe it's what you were meant to do. How do you feel? Invigorated. Excited. Elated. Exhausted. Why can't we fly? Fly? Hmm. I've never heard of a flying emu. How about you, Thara? Hmm. No, I, I don't believe so. When I've taken my family down to the plains for the sweet spring grass, I've seen other emus running about. Maybe you're only meant to run, like your relatives down there. Oh, but we want to fly. Yeah, fly like other birds. <laughs> Maybe you could try practising and ask some of the other birds. Oh, that's a good idea. Ask other birds. Oh, very good idea. Shall we? We could. And we could practise flying on the way. Let's. Fly like a bird. Like a bird. Fly, 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 You've been okay since she passed on? Not really, Grandad. But I'm sort of getting used to it, you know. I miss her sometimes. Like now. I want to share it with her. All this. Reckon you're sharing it with her now, Charlie. Now your mum would be proud of you, loving the things she loved. Yeah, Grandad. I think you're right. You know, sometimes... I feel the high country is talking to me. I, I get this feeling. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You feel as though it actually touches you. Shouldn't we be giving Dad a hand? If he wants to capture Brumby just so he can make some money, he can build his corrals without my help or yours. <laughs> Look! <laughs> it's like they want to fly like other birds or something. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like to me. <laughs> <laughs> Is the silver brumby really a ghost, Grandad? That's what they say. Seems like one to me. Floats in and out of the mists. Seen here, seen there. The trapper's hand, the man a dead horse hunt. All reckon they've seen this ghost horse. Fastest and finest brumby in all our country. Have you seen him? Might have. Will I see him? Might. If I see him, I'll capture him. Make a fortune, eh, with a ghost horse. Right, Charlie? Maybe. Caught ghost horses before, have you, Don? <laughs> Not that I can recall. Have to settle for real ones. Me and Charlie will get a few tomorrow, I reckon. Big demand from now. What with the local rodeo coming up and all? Gotta be pretty smart to capture any high country brumbies. Well, we'll be right then. Won't we, Charlie? But you've got to understand, Gerard, all the creatures of the high country look up to Thara. And right now, the emus uh, need... Ah, they're silly. Oh, don't be unkind. <laughs> well, they are. <laughs> A bit, I suppose. But right now, they need Thara's help and advice. So don't be so selfish. You've had a great deal of Thara to yourself. 
are the Brumbies. Listen. Very good. You heard them before I did. We'd better get out of here. Why? Can't we talk to them? No. Those horses are shod. Men's horses. And men mean danger. Capture. Come on. <laughs> oh, there's a couple that didn't head south. Oh, that filly's magnificent. And the foal will fetch a pretty penny. They're heading for my trap. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Brumbies are down there somewhere. I won't give up till I've got the pair of them. Look, there's one of them. We've almost got it, Mew, haven't we? Oh, yes, most definitely almost got it. We definitely left the ground. Didn't you think, Thara? Thara? Hmm? Uh, what? Mew flew! If you say so. Well done, Mew. Mopoke, Mopoke, it doesn't matter how much you try. I doubt if you'll ever be able to fly. Oh? Mm. You've got no wings, you silly things. Or aerodynamics or other things. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 now. If you fly, you might fall. Now you both stand straight and tall. And think how grand it is and what fun to be the biggest of birds and ones who can run. Ooh, the grandest of birds. Oh, the biggest of birds. Not many birds can run, can they? Oh, they can't. They just fly. Anyone can fly. Much grander to run. More unusual. Most unusual. Very special. Who wants to fly? <laughs> Something's wrong. I have to go. A race. Let's go. We can beat Thara. <laughs> We're faster than Thara. Hey, Muse, look out. <laughs> Got it now, Charlie. She's tiring. you, my beauty. I think it's my foot. Uh, no, I'm wrong. No, it is your foot. Sorry, Emus, I have to go. Uh, hey! What about us? Well, he might have helped. Not a very good friend. Well, perhaps he has other things to do. Perhaps he does. Well, is this your neck or my neck? Boom, boom! Boom, 
What's that? Shod hooves. Men. Burn, burn! He left us in quite a hurry, didn't he, Mew? Mm, quite a hurry indeed. A great hurry, in fact. Like a lightning bolt indeed, yes. <laughs> but it's all my fault that Burn Burn got captured by the men. She did it to save me. And now I can't find the hurt and I can't find Thaura and... There, there, there. I'm sure Thaura will... Oh, speak of the devil. Yurala, what happened? Where's Burn Burn? It's all my fault, and I couldn't find you, and I was scared. And now you're going to get angry with me for getting Boon Boon caught. I'm not angry with you, and it, it's not your fault. I just need to know where she is. They were heading towards the plains below the high country. Good. Now you see if you can find the herd and stay safe. Let's hope they've left some heavy tracks. I've got to go after Boon Boon and rescue her. Fast as lightning! Able to leap tall mountains with a single bound. Will you help me find the herd? I don't know where to look, and Thara will be gone sometime if he's got to go down to the plains. He's gone to the plains? Mm, Benny says other emus are on the plains. Thara probably needs our help. Mm, probably needs some birds who can run fast. Probably. Thara, wait for us! Oh, you really need us, you do. Sounds like the boss's daughter. I wonder what she's up to. Mopoke, am I glad to see you? Oh, to be glad, to be glad. It is such a state of bliss compared to being sad. Boom Boom's been captured by men. Have they passed this way? Captured? Ooh, that's a shock, of course. But I've seen no sign of that poor horse. And I've lost their tracks on rocky ground. Perhaps you can help. If Boon Boon is in need of help, it's enough to make any heart melt. Perhaps you could do an aerial scout. See if you can see any sign of tracks. You know you can count on me. I'll get airborne and see what I can see. Good on you, Mopo. Oh, let's see now. Boom, boom. I'm sure it was her. Now where? Ha, ha. What's this? Hmm. What's that old windbag up to? He's usually snoring his head off this time of day. Not a sign. Not a sign. I do hope this isn't a waste of time. Hmm. Seems to be looking for something. <laughs> Perhaps he'll find more than he was bargaining for. <laughs> Time for some fun. <laughs> Lots of stones and blades of grass, but finding track is a bit of a farce. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> That'll teach you, you old mud scrubber. <laughs> Phew, a soft landing. My luck was in. <laughs> Way to end a flight. I feel just like a crumpled kite. Oh, 
but all is not lost, of course. I seem to have discovered the track of a horse. <sighs> You'll find Boom Boom's tracks over that rise, and you have my word, Thara, I tell no lies. Thanks, Mopoke. You're a real pal. I don't know where we'd be without you. I hope you can rescue our dear friend soon. I fear for the fate of poor Boon Boon. We've come to help rescue Boon Boon. Mm, we're very fast, you know. Very fast indeed, and we could take messages to her. Well, from you to her, so you wouldn't be seen and captured too. Not captured, that's right. This is very kind of you, Emus, but I think it might be better if I go alone. Oh, no. If we go, there'll be three heads. Uh, and eight legs, and we could... Didn't Benny say your relatives might live on the plains? He did. They do. They might. Oh, we should go and find them. Talk to them. Question them. What a clever idea. Uh, it's a clever idea. Uh, didn't we think of it before? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so either. Sorry, Thara. We won't be able to help rescue Boom Boom. Oh, we have our relatives to visit. Uh, bye! <laughs> Something. Come on. I can't let you go. <laughs> what? What is it? The silver brumby! Boon Boon! Not only had Boon Boon been caught by man, she had also been taken a long way from her beloved high country. Thara had been quick to respond to his best friend's plight, but saving Boon Boon was not going to be a simple task. <laughs>